Yo, there he is, the champ. Yo, What's good. What up, Pete? You wanted to see me, man? Oh uh, yeah, man. I wanted to talk to you about the off season. You know, um, since you got a lot of options, I wanted to pick your brain a little bit and see what you might be interested in getting into. Okay, great. So I know you got the whole training regimen in place, right? But not every day is spoken for. So the way I see it is, you got three things that I think can help you up your game, and those are uh, FIBA qualifying, open runs with NBA guys, and even more focused training on your own. Okay, you want me to unpack that for you? Yeah, but if you don't mind, keep it quick. You know what I mean? I got a date tonight. Uh, okay, <laughs> okay, I see. Well, yeah. I promise I'll keep this short and sweet, all right? Appreciate it. So obviously, you know you've got an open invite to play for Team USA. Yeah, FIBA. they made official once we won the U19. Right, yeah. right. So this year is a qualifier. I mean, we're qualifying whether you're there or not, but this is a chance for you to rope in some bigger names for the FIBA games, which are coming up in 2027. Yeah, how do you mean? Well, you got pulled with Team USA. So yep. if you say you want to invite Superstar X, mm -hmm. they'll invite Superstar X, right? Then if you guys, you know, play in the qualifier, have a good time, develop a relationship, right? he'll be more likely to play with you when it really counts in the FIBA games, right? Well, so, you. you know, it's a long play, but it could be worth it depending on how much the FIBA games mean to you. Well, that makes sense. What are you thinking? How are you thinking? Well, I mean, you could also go the open run. Mm. Mm -hmm. And how would that help me? Well, more relationship building. Invite guys from the team to help strengthen the bond mm -hmm. or guys from around the league to maybe recruit down the line in free agency. Shrewd. What's the third thing, man? Well, the third thing is basically more of what you're already up to. You know, focus training, individual workouts, stuff that helps improve your game and skills. What if I want to just chill on the few days that I don't have accounted for, man? Hey. Look, you can do that too, all right? This is your life, bro, and you know your body, so maybe you don't want to push yourself that hard, mm -hmm. right? But if you do want to push yourself as hard as I think you can, mm. one of these approaches could be really good for you. I see, I see. Come on, man, so what you thinking? All right, look, FIBA's important to me. Mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I have the best team possible when we're playing for gold in a few years. So I want to do the qualifier. Great. Well, I'll let them know, and I'll make sure to get you that list of guys so you can get it to the squad ASAP. Appreciate it, P. Absolutely. No, I got you. A new year means new goals. Yep, fresh start, anything's possible. Indeed it is. So let's talk about the team's overall outlook and then we can drill in to your personal goals for the first half of the season. Sound good? Sounds great, let's do it. When you reach the mountaintop, your only job is to stay there. Yes, sir. Our goal this year is to repeat as champions. Anything less than that and we have failed to live up to our potential. No excuses, just get the job done. That's exactly right. right. So we're all in agreement. Why don't we talk MP through his first half goals? Coach? You know the drill by now. Mm -hmm. We show you a list of goals. You pick the one you want to focus on for the first half of the season. I've been looking forward to this all off season, Coach. Take a look. Let me know what you think. I want to focus on beating our rivals. Why is that? Well, as you know, in the NBA, there's not a lot of difference between the best team and the worst team, but motivation, it can take you a long way. When you're, when you're going up against your rival, you got everybody rowing in the same direction. And in my experience, that type of camaraderie right there, that'll pay off big time when it comes to the playoffs. Everyone in this building works harder, smarter, and more efficiently when we are taking care of business against our rivals. Agreed. 
This is an emotional game, and an emotional boost like that can go a long way. You sure you don't want to focus on rebounding? Coach Tucker doesn't like talking about his emotions. <laughs> it's not my favorite subject, but I understand the appeal of taking down a hated foe. If that's what you want to do, we'll help you get there. I'd love to see us working towards a common goal. Anything else you two would like to discuss? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, looking forward to getting after it. This is going to be a great season, y'all. I always knew you'd be the face of the franchise one day. Just didn't realize it would be so soon. You did? I must have missed that. Oh, come on. You know I called you a tremendous talent. That's true. Blew everyone's expectations out of the water. Lofty as they may have been. I appreciate that, Donna. Thank you. Don't even mention it. Shall we start your interview? The reporter for 2K Tip Off Mag is here, and he is ready when you are. Any advice? Do what you always do. Be yourself. You've now won a championship as the undisputed best player on your team. Mm -hmm. Is it fair to say that you're the face of the franchise? I think that it's fair to say. Um, but a lot of people, they'll try to be humble when asked a question like that, but I feel like that's just evading responsibility. How so? I know what I mean to this team. I'm its leader, you know? Um, and if I try to act like that I'm not, then I'm forcing that on someone else, and that's not fair to my teammates. And I know it might sound cocky, but being a leader, it means taking responsibility. And I'm the first guy that they look to when times are good or bad. Do you think that your teammates look up to you? I wouldn't put it that way. We're all grown men. We're all great players. I'm just the tip of the spear. But we need all of us to go where we need to go. And where we need to go is to the finals to win another championship for the people of our city. Great job. Really well done. Thank you. All right, let's take some photos for the cover. All right. We were all very impressed with how you handled yourself on and off the court during postseason. Who's we? Well, you know, folks upstairs. Okay. Everyone knew you were going to be a star. We just didn't realize it would be this soon. I guess you guys knew it all along, huh? We drafted you, didn't we? But you can't go too far catering to a rookie. It might upset the vets. For sure. That makes sense. Like, even now. We could have you alone on the cover, or we could include your teammates. Okay, so are we doing a solo cover or a team cover? It's complicated. I don't know. Obviously, we want to feature you. You're who the fans want to see. What? But some people get sensitive. Okay, so which one is it? Well, frankly, you're the face of the franchise now, so it's kind of your call. We'll support you either way. Great choice. Team in. Hey guys, let's get in for a photo, all right? Danny? Yup. Yeah. Great, let's go. Let's go. Let's get in. Let's see what right. you guys got. Here we go. Great. Let's see one more for backup. Right. Fantastic. We got everything we need. 